Hey guys, this is Nora. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you a spring and Easter haul. I've been collecting things for a while now. I didn't go and buy everything all at once. And um, so I'm ready to show you guys what I bought. I bought these things at different stores. Dollar Tree is one of my favorites. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and also the 99, 99 cent store, which was a first time for me um, in regards to Easter decor. I hadn't gone there for Easter decor, and I was very surprised with some of the things that I found. But let's go ahead and get started. By the way, Maddie's here. Say hi, Maddie. Hi. She's here, and she's going to help me out, and she's going to be passing me the items as we go. So let's okay, get started. We're ready to start. You ready, Maddie? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with Dollar Tree things. These items I found at the Dollar Tree, and of course, they're only a dollar. So you can't beat that. And I only bought things that I loved. I know they have a lot of decor out right now, so um, I'll probably go back and buy a few more things, but right now this is what I bought so far. So let's go ahead and get started, Mandy. Go ahead and pass me those three. Yeah, pass me the three of them because they're kind of like a set. Well, not really. Okay, these eggs are so cute. Um, they're an extra large egg, but if you can look, see, see, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. You can see cl uh, close by, they're so beautiful. They're sparkly. They have a little um, tool that you can hang if you wanna hang these. And they come in the color yellow, pink. See that sparkle, guys? They might add more colors. And the blue, yeah, you never know. They might add more colors. I was hoping they might have like a purple, more pastel, but these are good enough. I'm thinking I'm using these in a, my three-tier tray, and I kind of already played uh, played with the uh, setup a bit, uh -huh. so I'm, I am excited to uh, use these. But for a dollar, uh, you really can't beat that. They look like they could be ceramic, although they are made out of, of a foam material, and then they have the little, um, I guess, like confetti-looking um, sparkle on the top layer. And it can also but look get, at that shine. And it can also get glittery in the where you place them. Yeah, a little bit. They're not. They don't have that much. They do have a little bit of glitter in the the bottom part of the egg, but it's not too bad. Where it's, we will get just a little bit of glitter. Okay, that's moving on to the next. Okay, these I thought they were super cute, which were gold golden eggs. Um, I, as you guys know, you, or you might not know if you're new, but I like um, I like decorating with gold touches in my house. And so when I saw these, I'm like, for a dollar, I'm gonna get two. Um, they're just plastic eggs, and I just love the the way they are packed. I mean, they come in a little carton with some little uh, ribbon. So if you wanted to, you can probably leave them on there and just put them like somewhere on um, on a stand, uh, or you can take them out. Decor. and just put gold e golden eggs here and there. But I thought that the whole presentation here that Dollar Tree did was very beautiful. And again, I bought two of these. Okay, moving on to the next. When I saw these, uh, I just thought they were so cute. It's like a little decor but it is similar to something that you would find maybe at a, you know, at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're made out of wood. They have a little uh, hook where you can hang it on the wall or you can just place it on a, um, I'm thinking of a three-tier stand. It's small enough where it would fit or you can just place it on top of the table or a, a shelf or anything like that. But look at how the detail on it. It says Happy Easter. It has a little uh, farmhouse looking, um, lines on there and it has of course the glitter on there wait if that was like at hobby lobby that would be like about five dollars yeah if it was in hobby lobby you would pay five dollars or so but so this is for one only one dollar okay moving on to the next okay now we're going on with wall decor or or like um but just wall decor i guess um Look at this, guys. This is so cute. Uh, the little bunnies in the pastel blue, yellow, pink, and green. And it says welcome on there. Of course, it does have a little 
uh, twine on there to hang on a wall if you wanted to. I'm thinking of using this one for my coffee station. It's, it, um, I bought, right now you'll see some of the mugs that I bought and I think this, these colors will fit perfectly with my coffee station. So I'm still thinking about that, but I'm thinking it is a high contender for my coffee station. So stay tuned for that video, which will be coming uh, very soon. Those, that sign actually matches the egg if there was another green one. Yeah, it colors. does. Yeah, it would. And look at it, the glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter. It's so shiny. Okay, beautiful. Moving on to the next. Okay, there's four of these guys. Well, four different wall decor. This one, I saw it and I just thought it was super cute. Easter greetings. It is, again, it has a little um, top hat with Easter bunny uh, ears and a little bow. And the glitter here, the, the letters on the Easter uh, font is also in glitter. It is super cute and pastel colors, <laughs> sorry. So I'm not too sure where I'll put this, but I, I'm i sure that if you put it even like in a bookshelf, like put it kind of uh, standing or leaning, it would look really cute and it would bring out all the pastel colors together. If you decorate with pastel colors. Okay. This next one, I loved it when I saw it's it. It's one of my favorite ones. It's so glittery. I think it is one of my favorite ones. Um, so look at, take a look at this, guys. Isn't it super amazing? Like <laughs> the the truck itself. Look at the glitter on there. And um, Cottontail Farms. It has that famous truck that's been being used for every season and the Easter eggs on the back of there. And it right here, it says, this way to the bunny trail. I also am contemplating this one for the uh, coffee station, but I think uh, because it has more, of, it's not really pastel, it's more of a deep hot pink color. I know I look kind of red here, but it's a deep hot pink color. Uh, so I'm still, I will play around with the setup and um, you guys will see in, in my video what I choose. Next is Easter Greetings. It is a, um, I guess like a farmhouse looking kind of sign. It's like a fence and then it has like the, this is of course is not a, it, it makes it look like it's the uh, metallic uh, kind of fencing, but it does have this bow that sticks out. Uh, it is super cute as well. And um, for a dollar you can use it, you know, you, you can, Use it outside on your door. You can um, maybe hang it outside your, your you know, patio um, because even if it were to get wet or ruined, I mean, you only paid a dollar. So it's one of the plus sides about getting some of these signs from the Dollar Tree is that you don't have to worry about it lasting you for years because you only paid a dollar. You can get rid of them. Well, you can also go to season. the 99 cent store. Okay, so yes, we're moving on to the 99 cent store. Okay, so the 99 cent store was a hit. I would just love the items that we bought. Uh, and so let's go ahead and get started with the 99 cent store. Okay, let's, you wanna start with the mugs? Yeah. Okay, these mugs are super cute. Take a look at these mugs. Oh, I just saw the bunnies. It is a little bunny rabbit in this beautiful like blue color and the mug itself has little white polka dots on it. And look at that little egg on here, that little touch. They are super cute for a coffee station, which is where I'm gonna be using them on. Or just in your cup, and you know, for, you know, you wanna take out a this mug, seasonal mug, for your coffee every morning. It's just super cute. It's just gonna bring, I think it's gonna bring a smile to your face. And it, the little bunny is holding a, a basket with eggs on it. I think this one has a carrot and this one has a basket with eggs. So they're different, but of course similar. They are super cute, um, and I'm so excited to decorate with these. Next. These ones are like the same thing, but they're different colors though. Yeah, okay, these, oh, by the way, these were $1.99. These were $1.99, you can't beat that. Next, moving on to the little bunny rabbits. 
Now these, I believe these were 99 cents. They are super cute. Look at the, let me move the tag on this one. But it's a little ceramic white bunny and they are holding a little colored egg. I bought the one in pink and the one in purple. But aren't they cute? Okay. This one's that. Uh, last item, but certainly not no, least. No, there's one more after this Oh, one. yeah. Oh, wait, I thought that was my last. <laughs> That's fine. The, this item, again, is a very cute item. It, it's a um, little canister, and it does have, like, that little, um, what is this called? A um, airtight. So you can put like candies. I'm thinking of putting Easter candies in here. Like um, maybe the, the M&M's. They do have the um, pastel looking M&M's for the season. These, they also have the jelly beans. Um, the pastel looking jelly or the, maybe the, the little the, egg jelly beans for the season. Oh and also you can. Oh you know those Skittles m and I mean Skittles you know. With the little. Um, yeah, any, anything that brings color, like Easter is all about color. So anything that you can think of can go in here. I'm thinking I might get the, um, probably the M&M's. We like M&M's in this house. But look, it, it has a little lid and it is of a little bunny. And I, if I'm, I want to say I paid a dollar for this as well, with 99 cents. Or it could have been a dollar 49 or something like that. But it wasn't more than two dollars. So very cute item and it, again i might use it for my coffee station or just in one of my um, my coffee table with candy but i think that would go fast <laughs> if i put candies in there in the coffee it would okay go now certainly not least certainly not least but this is the last item that we got at the 99 cent store now i haven't opened it up you want to bring the scissors so i can open it really quickly Maddie? okay so this is a drying mat guys this is Great for the season is a dish drying mat. And look at the print on there, guys. This is so cute. I, and I use a blue one, um, you know, I, all the time. But this looks just really cute on your counter when you're washing dishes. You know, it's going to look good on there. And look at the print. I'm just so surprised with it. I paid $1.99 for this. $2. Two dollars for this, guys. Bad. It's not too bad. Not at all. And on the other side, it is a beautiful pastel pink color. So again, let me turn around. Let me. I want you to see this. How pretty is this? Now, just thinking out loud, you can probably even use this as some kind of decor. You, if you find it, like if you're able to find a frame for it, you can even put it on a frame because the print itself is so pretty i don't know it's so the colors are so bright and just the uh, the picture of the two little bunny rabbits uh smooshing <laughs> kissing it is super cute and so Wait, i'm they're thinking kissing? well they're kind of no i guess not no. but their their noses are connected to each other because when i look in the camera they're like different like they're facing different ways so that is what I got at the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. So now moving on to more higher end, not higher end, but more um, stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I actually have, General? Um, oh, I got one more thing from the 99 cent store. Never mind. One moment. Let's get me that one right there. Wait. You forgot. I forgot that one. This one? Yeah. No, no. The other, the, that one. No. Okay. So now this is certainly not the least. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, a little tabletop decor that says Hello Spring and it is a little bunny rabbit with a with a little bow. Now they had different color ears. I think they had like a pink or a blue, but I ended up getting the blue one. Um, I think I paid, pretty sure this was also 99 cents. It's not, the price is not on there. I don't have the receipt with me, but look how cute this is. It has that little stand that you can uh, place, you know, anywhere. And it has, the little bunny has like a little a t uh, cotton tail on there. Look at how cute that is. Uh -huh. And it just looks like you would have paid more than uh, Maybe like 99 cents. 
like three dollars. I would pay at least three to five dollars at a different store. So I would definitely go check out your 99 cent store if you have one nearby. Uh, I have to drive about 15 to 20 minutes to get to that store, about 20 minutes, but it is well worth it. Um, the Dollar Tree is closer to home, but making a trip out there, like I said, was well worth it because you're gonna find things that you're not gonna find at your Dollar Tree. Like you find a mix of different things. So again, now we're gonna be, go ahead and move on to uh, these more, Oh, well, let's do Dollar General because I know Dollar General is not an expensive store either. But the other ones are more... Um, I think you only got like two items. Like okay, two items from the... I guess that's all I got from the Dollar General so far. And I do want to go back for an Easter bunny that I saw. But what I found at the Dollar General are these little... Um, eggs. Mini decorative eggs. But they come in that... I don't know how that... What to, to describe that. Uh, it's that like, texture. It's like in loafers and stuff. Like not the texture of the print like you know i don't i know there's a name to it but there there were only a dollar so i bought a bag of two and they're really small they're small little eggs but i feel like again these will work for like a just to fill in a coffee or a three-tier station or um three-tier stand in a coffee station there you go and or just like on um little um coffee table or on a uh table setting these would work great for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to my TJ Maxx and Marshall's finds. Okay, so we're gonna do TJ Maxx. There are only three items from TJ Maxx, but they're very cute items. They were not like expensive either. I don't buy really expensive <laughs> items. We stay um, cheap. We like to, you know, stay, not cheap, but we like to, you know, we're, we don't like to spend a lot of money, especially when, um, when you can find things at a good price. So let's go ahead and get started, Maddie. Okay, so this little tray uh, I found at the at TJ Maxx, and it is a ceramic print. It says here that it's handcrafted and made in Portugal. Uh, it is super cute, and I thought of this for my coffee station. However, I'm thinking I have too many things now for a coffee <laughs> station. So I'm thinking I can put this like in on a co my coffee table, like on the top of the book, or I can um, use it as a, oh, I think you know what it is? Now that I'm thinking, it's more like a spoon rest, isn't it? A spoon rest? For the kitchen. So now I think, I'm thinking I'll move it over to my kitchen. That just came to me. But I think it's spoon rest. What do you guys think? It doesn't say what it is. It just says, uh, you know, you. it could be for anything, I guess. You use it for anything that you want. It really doesn't have to be for any specific reason. It's you, your decision. Your decision, you use it where you want and this was only $3.99. Okay, so again, more eggs. I have, no, I'm getting a lot of eggs, but <laughs> these are actually in a glass or ceramic. Uh, eggs are a little bit more like um, fancier than these. Mm -hmm. These are a glass, like I said, in a mercury looking type of glass. And they are super pretty. I don't know. I, I saw them and I these were the, some of the first eggs that I bought. And I don't know. I just love them. I feel like they're, they're going to look great like in my shelves in the back. In my um, shelves in the living room. Or like on a, on a table or the entryway. Not too sure exactly where I'm going to put these. But I just thought they were great. And, these. Yeah, go ahead. And this item is a little bit pricey. That's what I was gonna, about to say. They're a little bit more pricey than the other stuff that i bought um this is probably one of the highest prices of the item i think this is the most expensive item that i bought for easter so this is 12.99 okay 12.99 for a three but again it is not like these are made out of glass so they're more uh higher quality than you know these <laughs> but of course these are still very beautiful so that's good okay when I saw this little bunny rabbit, I just, it's a small little bunny rabbit. I was, I had to get it. It is super cute. It is a wooden bunny rabbit, but take a look at the side of it. Wow. It is beautiful. It has all sorts of little pearls on it and little bling to it. And it sparkles and it's just super cute. Again, it, this would fit perfectly in the three, three tier stand or just on top of some books in your living room or on a shelf it can somewhere be like a, like for rooms and stuff for a room 
If you want to decorate your room in all Easter and stuff. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on to the Marshalls finds. Now these are, we're coming close to the end, but uh, these items, I was super excited when I found these. So let's get started. Okay, so there are only four more items left. So, and these are Ray Dunn finds that I found. I was um, in a town, a nearby town, and they don't have a Marshalls in the town that I live. They only have a TJ Maxx, but in this town, near nearby town, uh, they had Marshalls and I decided to go very early in the morning and there was actually a few ladies waiting in line and so when they opened the store I saw them rushed in and they were also on the, on the uh, hunt for Ray Dunn and we found some Ray Dunn or they found some and then I found some and so I'm very happy that I found these so let's get started. Wow, you went, well you went really early in the I morning? I went really early. I went, I was waiting outside. Well why did you win so early? We actually had the doctor's appointment, so oh. I was there in town. So that's what happened. Okay, look at this mug right here. Crack me up. Oh, isn't that so cute? Look, it, it comes in the yellow pastel color. And it's just, I just love Ray Dunn. I already I have a few Ray Dunn pieces. I don't have any for Easter, and so I was in the hunt for some of these. Like, hunt, it's funny, Easter hunt. Uh, but I found this one, and I loved it. I picked it up and I found another one. Let's go. Look at this one. So this one says, excited. Excited, get it? Get it? <laughs> okay, look at the inside. It's a green pastel color. Again, if, you're, if it hangs, which this is what I'm gonna end up doing, I have a little uh, mug holder and it's gonna hang on there. So when it, it you know, people look at it from the inside, it's, Gonna, It'll be like um, light green. It's gonna show the pastel colors that um, are very, you know, famous during this time. Now this one was my favorite one. This one is comes in the larger size, and it was oh these by the way were five ninety nine. Again, five ninety nine is not bad at Marshalls. This item is pretty expensive, but not like that expensive. Not as okay. So this one was a little bit more expensive because look at it. It's super cute. It says "Peep's sake," and it also comes with a little lid. If you look at the lid, it has like an Easter egg print on there. This one was um, seven ninety nine. Let me take the little and like it has a removable lid. You can uh, you know. Um, Put a lid on it when you don't want to drink your coffee anymore or whatever you're holding in here. I'm gonna like be using can, this. You hmm? you don't need to put like coffee. You can put like uh, like other stuff in it. Yeah, you can put anything you want. Basically, you can put a milk. You can put anything you want. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on there, and I'm gonna put this um in my little uh, now, Keurig coffee maker. I don't know why I'm saying this, but you can like add sugar in it, that. You can add sugar. Like, oh yeah, in this here. Is a supply. That's very true. Maddie came up with that idea. If you want to use it to store sugar, and for your coffee station, you can also put sugar, and then that way you can have access to sugar or creamer. Um, any of those will work as well. Okay, the last thing that I got at the uh, Marshalls, and this will be my very last item for my for my Easter and spring haul. So let's go ahead and show it. Maddie, you want to show it? It's this egg that's in blue and it says egg hunt. Okay, this is also a Ray Dunn find, which it says egg hunt. And I also, again, want it from my coffee station. I don't even have a real big coffee station. My coffee station is basically a little counter space in my kitchen. But I kind of already played with the setup, so this one will definitely be, definitely be included in my coffee station. This one was only $4.99. And it's in that beautiful, like pastel blue color. I don't know if it shows here very well. It look, kind of looks white, but it is a pastel blue color, and it is very cute. And I'm gonna put, thinking of putting like this little bunny oh, that right there looks good. on my coffee station. And basically, that's it, guys. Of course, I'm gonna probably be adding some more things. Um, you know. Through, through the maybe a couple of weeks before we decorate for Easter. I don't know yet, but I am so excited to start decorating my house um, for Easter and spring and keep, uh, keep an eye out for some of these videos coming up. Like I said, I will be doing a coffee station, a three-tier um, tray decor for Easter, 
um, just an overall spring cleaning video coming up as well and some other things related to spring um, so if you are new to my channel I'm gonna invite you to subscribe um, we, I do a lot of content on homemaking home cleaning decorating organization um, those kinds of videos and I also do some vlogs where Maddie comes out sometimes Maddie has been coming out in my videos since I started which was like about four years ago and then I had a little hiatus and I stopped making videos and I'm back and I and I plan to continue at least and posting once a week. And then you started making videos and then you went back not to making videos and then you started mm. and then you went not making no, videos. No, no, I didn't stop that many times. I stopped... Uh, like three times. She's putting me on blast, but no. <laughs> I only stopped uh, for a while because we were building and then we were uh, renovating the other house that we sold. So it's... But we did like... Other reasons. For like in the rent house, we did like post some videos in here, here and there. Yes, that's when I started my videos up again, about a year ago. So I'm so happy to be on here. And those of you who are new to my channel, I've been getting some new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, being part of this family. Uh, again, you guys are awesome. And I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Uh, with that said, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.